I'm very tall. I'm like a I'm like a six foot four, and I used to get the Stephen Merchant thing of like people would meet at me at like a party or something. So, and I was very skinny as well, very lanky. <laughs> well, meet by Andrew Gold because he's like a tower. Well, they wouldn't know who I was, but you, you'd, I often, honestly, it was the only time, and I was, I was, and I'm not just saying this for sort of just to play down the handsome thing, but I was very spotty, geeky, lanky. I, I was very awkward, and that, that side of me was the Jewish side, I suppose, and just, just always like right. that, always hunched up. Um, and so, so the only time it, there would ever be girls sort of standing near me as a teenager i used to think, oh there's some girls around me here and it would always be they a friend would come and meet them soon and be like, ah they're meeting by me i'm the lamppost so right you're the jewish lamppost um <laughs> six foot four is i'd say that's a good height i mean it's tall but um you know i know stephen merchant very well and richard osman i know pretty well and i think both of them have a sense of being you know Giants, basically, very tall people indeed. Uh, whereas I wonder if six foot four, you're just about on the edge of being very tall, but not freakishly tall. Yeah, but I was this height when I was thirteen. I was this was my bar mitzvah height. <laughs> We're making it so Jewish now. There's a type of there's a bar mitzvah <laughs> height. Who even knew that was a thing? Uh, yeah. Wow, that is yeah, that's pretty big for a thirteen year old. I have oh. to say, I'm surprised they even had a talis that didn't look like a sort of little tiny scarf on you. You should have said that must have been the t- that's the most Jewish joke anyone's ever made. The Tullis <laughs> on you. It must have looked like it was just a sort of, you know, uh serviette or something. Yeah, it was not, yeah. Oh man, yeah. you can't imagine like the awkwardness there. I was so hunched and awkward and all that. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an even more Jewish joke. Go on, right? Uh, which none of your listeners who aren't Jewish will get. Is did you do Muftir and Half Taller? What's Muftir and Half Taller? I know those names. What is that? Oh, you didn't get it. No, the joke I did was I said <laughs> Muftir and Half Taller. That was the joke. Uh, okay. Well, what people do... Okay, so but <laughs> Andrew didn't even get it, so we'll have to cut this joke while I'll, I'll explain it. If When, you yeah. do, uh, when you're a bar mitzvah, when you have your bar mitzvah, you can just read a parsha. It's called, that's just a portion of the Torah, of the Old Testament, and you do that. But if you're a bit good at it, which of course I was, because I was a bit swatty, you do a sort of longer bit, which is called mufti and half Torah. Uh, and it's a sort of bit... Do you not hear that? Does that, that not ring any bells? I probably did it, but I don't... I don't. I could do the whole thing. I can go. I could do the whole bloody thing. It's all in there. It's all. Is it really? No, a tiny bit is a tiny bit at the tiny beginning. Is. Is the beginning. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Thirty-two. Right. So you should have forgotten your bits. <laughs> yeah. Just to buy now. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a bit sad. But uh, yeah. No, that, that you, you might have done it, but anyway, that's just, if you're a sort of like star bar mitzvah class pupil, you do mufti and haftorah. I feel people are turning off in their droves from on the. They're 